And a favorite part of our show once again. We walked around the room here at the Florida United Numismatist Summer Coin Convention to talk to some of the dealers to find out about some of the really cool items they bought to show us, to teach you, our Coin Week viewers, about coin collecting. So we brought something really cool. This coin has just been announced two days ago. It's a coin that we did in conjunction with uh, Provident Metals, Elemental Capital, and the Royal Canadian Mint. It's the Woolly Mammoth, and this is the first coin in a, in a four-coin series uh, that's aimed at uh, native uh, mammals to Canada, prehistoric. So we have the Mammoth. This is a one-ounce silver coin, and we have Proof 69 and Proof 70, as well as raw examples here. And it also uh, comes with a 10-ounce gold coin with those grades as well. What kind of mintages? Okay, the, the silver is minted to 7,500 pieces worldwide, and the gold is 3,000 pieces worldwide. And how do they come up with the images? How do they decide on what animals to use? Well, that's the fun of it. That's what we love doing. We love working with these mints, uh, helping come up with concept, helping uh, them through the revision process, detailing what we want the animal to look like, uh, what we think is going to appeal to the customer, what we think that people care about. And so that's, that's really the fun of what we get to do. And what kind of value? What will the coin sell for? Uh, right here we have a Proof 70 example. And this coin retails for $120, $119.95. Yeah, I got one of my favorite people. This is my great, 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 great grandfather, Leopold the Hogmouth. Of course, they called him Leopold the Magnificent to his face, but he is the one that stemmed the Turkish invasion of Europe. When they laid siege to Vienna, Leopold the Hogmouth got on his little carriage and rode out to go get the Polish cavalry. And when they were laying siege, he left his nephew there to hold the city down, and while there all, all, all the Turks were sleeping, and one morning the Polish cavalry came charging out of the hills and wiped them out and saved Europe from Turkish domination. And what denomination coin is it, and where is this it from? This is a one taller from Vienna, Austria. What kind of value? I'd say right now the value is between around seven hundred to eight hundred dollars. Well, I, I do have an interesting coin here. I have an 1837 Fuchtwanger scent. And it's kind of a weird name, but a fellow by the name of Louis Fuchtwanger developed this. It's kind of a pattern coin in a sense because he felt that we didn't need to use copper for our coins. And so he developed a what's kind of a German silver content. It's nickel, zinc, and, and copper co combination. Uh, and he felt that this is what coins should be made from. And so he produced these as kind of a uh, a token and, a, and a, a pattern piece, and they were widely circulated. Uh, you know, during the there was a coin shortage from about 1836 to say 1845, and so a lot of these were used as for commerce in that at that time period. So it's kind of an interesting coin and uh, and one that is kind of prized by collectors. Uh, and uh, why was it not accepted? Well, uh, it wasn't officially. A, a mint pattern so you know you've got to go through the process it's kind of like getting a, a patent now on something and uh, he didn't really follow the rules and so I, I imagine that was the reason what kind of value this particular one that we have is an MS 63 mint state coin uh, it, tra it sells for around 650 dollars you can buy one though as low as 75 to 100 dollars if you want to get a low grade piece I have a number of gaming chips and some of them are very colorful. Uh, I, I picked out one that I think is particularly colorful. It's a $25 gaming chip from a cruise ship company, a day boat company that operated out of Florida. And this was used to be called the Star Dancer Cruises. Unfortunately, they have gone by the wayside but they operated off of many ports in Florida. Uh, I have a $25 chip, which uh, I will be glad to show you. And uh, unfortunately, all of the chips that they have are now defunct. And they are readily available. None of them are terribly expensive. And they are easily obtainable. We have them here at our table. And also, there is a show in Nevada, held once a year, the Casino Token and Gaming Chip Collectors Club, which just had their convention, their 22nd convention, and chips are always available there.